Ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you to the UBC Contender Backgammon Championship 2023, live in Istanbul, Turkey. Sponsored by Backgammon Galaxy Milky Way International Corporation. For few of you in the arena and millions of you watching all over the world, let's get ready to gamble! In our left corner, we have His Majesty, the one and only, the history maker, the anthology maker, the backgammon mythology maker, the all-time winner of the world and beyond, Mr. Bard! And in our right corner, we have the challenger. He's young, he's ambitious, he's vivid, He's coming out of nowhere, he's coming fast, and he's coming here to stay, Mr. Screen! Now, gentlemen, we are here witnessing the moment that we all have been waiting for. You are about to combat for the most prestigious title. It's the Intergalactic Super Ambitions Beyond Grandmaster Champion. I want you to have this combat clean. No rig dice is both sides. I want you to keep good sportsmanship and to obey to anything I say. Good luck and good match. You see this board? Backgammon is 5,000 years old. And for 4,955 years, we've been playing on a board. And some idiot thinks that you can play this ancient, wonderful game on a friggin' computer. It's an insult to my ancestors. It's an insult to the people of, of Iraq who invented this game uh, 5,000 years ago and the Mesopotamia, and we're, you're just destroying the beauty and the nature of this game. I understand your reasons, and uh, <clears throat> of course it's uh, an Asian game, um, but I doubt uh, they had this uh, technology at hand, what we have now, back then. That's not true. They found computers in, in Cleopatra's tomb, they just didn't want to use them. They were smart enough to see how computers can ruin your life. It was the case with books a hundred years ago. Uh, kids, uh, people were worried that uh, if their, their kids will read too much, it will ruin them. It did. Look at the kids today. The books ruined them completely. Those kids are your grandparents, right? Yeah, they were horrible. When I play on a board and it's somebody else's board, I love spilling coffee on it. I love dripping food on it. I can't, on a computer, I can't do that. When I play on a board, I love my baffle box. If they would put a baffle box, if they would put a baffle, this is, this is holy. If they would put a baffle box on the computer program, I would like it more, that would be okay. And they could do it, but I'd never seen a baffle box on a, on a computer backgammon game. I have another uh, very interesting friend and uh, his idea actually to use the baffle box, see the rolls, put it in the computer and then play. And I actually really dig that idea. Why exactly, what's uh, your real problem with the computers? My real problem with the computer. Number one, I never can get the dice on the floor. I love when I love going with, with or without a baffle box. I love this sound, and I love throwing the dice all over the place. <laughs> I mean, you can't do that on a computer. That's and so much fun. So when we went through the pandemic, uh, we had to basically start playing on the computers online, right? And then, uh, and after like two years, I returned to the next uh, live event, and I, did, I was enjoying playing the boards again and stuff, but the next morning, I couldn't lift my arm. <laughs> Just by touching, you always have to go touch the clock. Why, you know? If you have a board, and you have a bad roll, you can take the cube and just throw it at the wall. 
You can't do that with a computer. I tried it. It broke my computer. Okay. I understand that. Ah! Uh, <laughs> this, you can do that with a computer. <laughs> yeah, okay. uh, let's get let's get normal now. Let's calm down okay. a little second. Right. Okay. Uh, you so, can see I'm passionate um, about it. I I understand that, and that's I also understand that you don't give uh, really a uh, <laughs> about. Uh, <laughs> What, how you play and uh, how your moves are right or not. But I do, you know. I like to improve my game. And I really like the fact that uh, when I play with the computer, I can get uh, all my moves back instantly. And then I can use that time you transcribe to uh, analyze my matches with a much huger uh, and much bigger uh, search interval and uh, <clears throat> much more truthfully, you know. And then I get more exact results on how I play. I was one of the top players in the world before computers because I could make illegal moves on the board. The computer doesn't let me do that. And I'm, I'm able, look, I'm able to move with my elbow I can move with my elbow. I'm able to, if I roll a 5-4, I can play a 6-5. I can't do that on a computer. One of the, the, one of the best skills I have, I know how to palm the dice. I know how to cheat. On a computer, I can't do any of that. It's just driving me nuts. It's yeah, really driving the, me crazy. Uh, the extra luggage I have to uh, do when I travel, it also costs me a lot of money. Meanwhile, I just travel like this. I put this... Uh, it's under. not a problem. First of all, when people pack, they, you only need one pair of underwear. You only need, you don't need socks. Look, who, who wears socks anymore? Who wears socks? You don't need socks. You don't need underwear. You need one pair of pants. I have socks. And, and all this other crap that you pack, I leave room for my, in fact, in my suitcase, I've got one pair of underwear, socks. one pair of socks, uh, uh, you know, my vibrator, and, and, and the board. That's it. That's all you need when you travel. By the way, have you ever smuggled anything inside the board? Well, I when I smuggle, it. that's another thing. It's hard to smuggle stuff in your computer. In the board, I can carry all kinds of illegal things, uh, and I can't fit that in my computer. <laughs> I, you left me speechless with that because now I really start to understand why. Well, these are good points, actually. Uh, okay. Backgammon people who love this game make the boards. We're supporting our own. They're the people that we that love the game, and that's why they're building the board. People who build the computers, they don't even care if you play backgammon. But don't backgammon. you fear that uh, basically they are taking advantage of us, on us, uh, by, uh, you know, selling these uh, wooden crappy things for thousands of dollars? Don't you dare say they're crappy. But if, if uh, the same object would be just to hold the uh, paper or like a uh, little nut, something, just to hold. It would sell for $20. How, how can they uh, come up with these prices? Can you tell me? When I'm sitting at the table at Starbucks and I'm playing backgammon on one of these, people walk by and say, oh, is that beautiful. Have you ever seen anybody come up to your computer oh, yes, and say, yes. oh, what a beautiful computer that is? Yes, actually, they, oh, they, they keep doing that oh, at Starbucks. No. They, they yeah. come in to me and they no say, can I, I touch it? All right, let me ask you this. How many women have you picked up with that computer? All the women. I've got seven women with this board. Okay. Seven. Yeah. Okay. They were ugly, but they're, I, they were nice. I, I, I just picked up five, but, but this is actually See, five, quite... seven. I win. Okay. I win. So basically, this is a number, seven to five. a number of women. Yeah, that's right. I do. I do much better with my with my board. <laughs>